This is The Professionals, a podcast by Music Business Technology and Broadcast Media Technology students on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio. In this series, students will interview industry professionals in their respective fields to help gather an idea of what it's like to work in their industry. Hello there, I'm Elizabeth Weaver, a broadcast media technology student at Owens Community College. Today I'm interviewing Kate Sadrowski, a former camera operator. Thank you for calling in today, Kate. Of course. So what is your current profession? Currently I'm a freelance writer. Okay. And what were your previous f- professions? Um, so I was a professional camera operator for about 20 years, um, mostly in sports television um, with some other things here and there, some reality TV and different things, but primarily sports. What were your responsibilities as a camera operator? It depends on the gig. So some stuff I did was like live broadcasts of games. And so for that, you come in, you get your camera gear, you go set it up in the position, um, and all the camera operators do that. And then you talk to the director about what he's looking for for the show, he or she, but we'll say usually he. And then you shoot the game, and then you strike all your gear at the end of the game. So I did a lot of that, and then some other stuff. I worked for a professional sports team. I worked for the Chicago Bulls directly, and so we didn't. We didn't. Sh- I didn't shoot the games for them. I shot more interviews with players, like post game. We'd go in the locker room post game and do interviews. Would do fun different shoots with like the mascot and stuff so those were a little different in terms of what what we did and when we did it what was a challenging part of that um (laughs) there are i guess i mean it was a fun job there were definitely some challenges it's a physical job so some days if you're working you know a lot of games in a row and you don't you know games go into overtime Usually you would get paid overtime, but still you might not get a lot of sleep. You might be tired, have to do another one, quick turnaround. So the physical aspect of the job, I would say, is just a, a general challenge, but it was fun. But just sometimes if you had, you know, a bunch of days in a row, especially because I'm mostly freelance, so, you know, I could do 10 days in a row or something, which, you know, usually by the end you're counting down <laughs> until the day you get a rest. And then I would say as a as a woman, actually being a camera operator, especially in sports, was less common. So there were definitely some challenges in terms of people not expecting you to show up as a camera operator, people doubting your abilities or all women's abilities as a camera operator. And I had many great people that I worked with, but sometimes like with new crews, that would certainly be a challenge. So you said despite the challenges, it was still fun. What would you say was like the most fun part? Oh, that's also, <laughs> also a tough question. I mean, uh, I had a lot of, like, yeah, I mean, there was a, a reason I did it for 20, God, at least 20 years, yeah, because it was so much fun. It was fun to, I loved sports, so it was fun to, you know, be in arenas all the time and be shooting games and just the atmosphere in arena was fun. It was fun to to get to, you know, talk to the players, to get to know the players, to interview interesting people, like just some random shoots I did throughout my career, just the places that it took me and the people I got to meet was just just really fun. And usually the crew itself was a lot of fun. Like when I worked on reality show Big Brother, um, it was always in the summer and it felt like summer camp. Like we would always, you know, there'd be some new crew people, but a lot of the same people would come back year after year. And it was just like, got to spend three months together, make a fun show and just hang out with your friends. <laughs> So was there a difference in the technology you used between different shoots? For sure. Um, and even just, you know, having worked in, you know, over 20 years, I will say I definitely was a part, when I was working, things went from like tape to, to digital media, like that you would record on. Um, and that was a big thing that changed just over the, you know, I started in TV when I was in high school, um, just doing some like utility and production assistant and some other stuff. And so just seeing it change, you know, I wasn't super involved in editing and post-production. Um, I mean, I did stuff in college, but, um, but just, you know, shoot going from shooting on cameras that had tape and you would need tape to shooting on digital media was a big thing. But then if I'm working on like a broadcast sports game and doing 
what they call hard camera as opposed to handheld. You know, you have these big cameras with these huge lenses that you sit on these big tripods. They're just, everything's massive. Whereas then if I'm doing like a little run around shoot for the bulls or something, I have a, mm, I had a much smaller, you know, digital camera. So in terms of that, I, I would say the gear you know, definitely sometimes it was just massive, huge cameras and sometimes much smaller cameras. And then sometimes it would be just run and gun and do what you can. And then sometimes, you know, I'd be on shoot where you set up all the lighting, do interviews and all this kind of stuff. So it definitely changed depending on, yeah, what you were working on. And you mentioned you started doing that stuff in high school. Do you feel that this was like a way you always wanted to go? Yeah. Oh, I definitely for sure I knew when I was in high school I had an opportunity to do an internship at a regional grocery store chain in their internal video production department and actually I guess before that in high school my high school had a video production class so that's how I got into it um, and started doing that and then I got this internship so I and then the people I was working at the internship with a lot of them worked some of the minor league sports games in town so they would bring me in as again like a utility or a production assistant um and then I chose to go to college specifically I chose the co- I knew the college I wanted to go to like from my freshman year of high school um because it was a had a strong it was basically focused on communications and the performing arts so I had a super strong video program a film program theater program all that kind of stuff so yeah I was very focused <laughs> So what exactly were you involved with in college? So in college, I was a TV video major, and then I worked, um, we had a few different organizations. We had um, Emerson, I went to Emerson College, um, Emerson Independent Video, um, which did all sorts of video productions. We would shoot like theater productions, you know, do multi-camera shoots of plays and performances. We also had a, it wasn't... (laughs) The college itself didn't have the greatest sports program, but we did have some teams. So we we did sports on location, which I was really into, which was like shooting like the basketball games. We would have to take our gear on the subway to get to the YMCA because at that point our school didn't have a gym. They do now. (coughs) But that that was really fun. And then we had what I think is the largest student run I don't know if it's the largest student run award show or live production. I'm not sure exactly what it is in terms of that, but we had what we called the Evie Awards every year, which was basically like our version of the Emmys and people would get awarded in all sorts of different categories, film and TV and uh, writing and other things. And we did a full, you know, several hour live award show. And so we planned that all year long. We were working on all the logistics of that. And that was a really cool program to be a part of some of us would go to like fly out to LA because we had a our college had a program out there that's actually how I spent my last semester of college in LA Um, but we would some of us would fly out when we were lower level student or younger students and do interviews with people in the industry to like show during the um during the award ceremony so it was just a really cool all-around thing and because of that I actually um started a women's documentary that became my like senior thesis which was basically interviewing women in primarily in LA and New York about how they broke into the industry how it was different as a woman just very a lot of it was a really cool project because you got to ask people who are working in the industry you know for advice but also it was all of us and mostly women and on the crew shooting and doing the audio and doing the editing so that was that was my favorite project in college and that was like a several year long thing so what would you say were the most useful takeaways you had in college especially in those programs um i think the biggest thing about those programs were that it was hands-on work when i had been like looking at different colleges there were some colleges that wouldn't you know really let you major or focus on your major until you were you know a a junior or something and so from but from like my first day in college you know I was shooting things I was editing things um, and there was because of the nature of my college and because there was so much creativity and so many performances and just so much that kind of stuff going on like everyone was always um, we did a you know a weekly newscast that I would shoot things for and started directing that at one point so it was it was just a lot of really good technical skills that you built up so you know I had a reel to show when I started working and even if it is just 
college stuff. I actually ended up with clips on like the daily show and just on other random things. So just getting that skill set early and just being immersed in that was huge. And then having the, like I had a, a, a wonderful mentor who was the one who helped me start the women's documentary. And he was really good at encouraging me and telling me that, you know, being a woman in sports would be potentially challenging, but also like giving me all the skills uh, so that I would believe that I could do it and I could. So, so you mentioned um, you changed pathways. What made you decide to change pathways? Uh, you mean in my career, yes. like from video to writing? Yes. Um, basically, I felt like I had achieved my dream. So I was working for the Chicago Bulls. I worked for them for six seasons. That was like one of the last then I ended up doing a little more video after that but that was basically where I was like wow working for a professional sports team had always kind of been my dream and I did it for six seasons and I didn't really I I needed a new challenge because as much fun as that was you know I was in my early 30s at that point I guess and I'm like I still have you know at least 30 more years of (laughs) career and I didn't see the Bulls were wonderful I loved the people I worked for and the people I worked with for what I wanted to do. There wasn't really a place for me to grow there. I could continue to do the same thing, um, but I didn't want to become a producer um, or anything like that. I really always loved the technical side of things. I much preferred running around with a camera um, doing live stuff. than you know, I did some, you know, producing of like that women's documentary and stuff, but I also shot it. Like I always felt like I wanted to be hands on. So for what I wanted to do, I just didn't see a lot of growth opportunity. So I decided to uh, try writing, and that's been really fun. I do sometimes, I I always feel like at this point, if the the right video project somehow came along and I could be involved in it, I would still love to do that, because I do really like what I do now, but every once in a while it would be fun to to do a shoot or something. so. So do you have any advice for someone still figuring their pathways out? Um, try, try different things for sure. Um, I think that was what was so great about, you know, my college experience. One of the many things is I did get to, to try, you know, I, I always had an idea that I wanted to do camera. That really was a focus for me, but I tried different things for a while. Actually, I was a Chiron operator too. Um, that's actually how I really kind of got my first professional job out of college. I interned as an assistant editor Um, And then they hired me after that to be the Chiron operator. And then slowly I started working into doing little, you know, being a second camera for them or something. Um, And then I got more into camera. Um, But I really did like Chiron and it gave me, you know, a foot in the door. Um, But then I had to decide and I decided, like I said, I like running around more than being in a in a room or in a in the production truck. Um, But college just gave me a lot of opportunities to try different positions on the crew. I like directing a lot, um, like directing live camera stuff. I did a lot of that. So that was a path I had thought about pursuing. Um, But I also learned through that that I hated film film style shooting. I was always a TV video major. I much preferred either live stuff or stuff that, you know, like live to tape. Um, I didn't love the sitting around and doing a whole big setup and waiting and perfecting you know, every little, last little lighting thing. Like, I knew how to light, and I enjoyed it, but I didn't want it. the film style stuff. I helped some other friends on their film projects, and I was quickly learned that that was not the path I wanted to take. So that's what I would say, is just try try different things and see, you know, what, what you enjoy. Because um, there's so many different aspects of it um, in terms of what you can do on the crew, in terms of styles of shooting, in terms of different types of productions so as much as you can try um and if you're just starting out you can you know lots of times be a production assistant or utility more in the technical side and and just get to see what what things are like and if you want to keep going down that path all right well thank you and thank you so much for calling in and for your time um my guest has been my guest has been kate sadrowski a former camera operator for the chicago bulls I'm Elizabeth Weaver. You've been listening to the Industry Professional Podcast on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio. This has been the Professionals Podcast by Music Business Technology and Broadcast Media Technology students. Join us next time on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio.